Hello Cancer and welcome to your 2023 tarot messages. We are going to look at all the wonderful and good stuff coming to all the Cancers out there in 2023. Also, I highly recommend you check out your 2023 moon scope for your moon sign that I did. I will link all of those readings in the top comment below. All right, Cancer, let's get in. We're going to start with your spiritual energy and go from there. What good is coming to Cancers in 2023? Beautiful messages for Cancer. All right, right there. Okay, third eye vision. Reclaim your mind. Oh, Cancer. This feels so so powerful to me. Remember, we are looking at your spiritual energy, which is the basis in which you operate from. Okay, third eye vision. In 2023, you are just going to see things crystal clear. Okay, and I, you know, I'm getting this for all the signs, something about the energy of 2023, where it's like we're all having this activation, this awakening. Okay, and you guys are no exception, but we have an activation coming to your third eye. Okay, and this is your soul's vision. This is where, you know, you are seeing the energy around a person or a situation for exactly what it is. And it doesn't matter what's being said or anything like that. Like you just see the truth. Okay, um, and with this reclaim your mind, there is some area of your life um where there's been this influence, okay, that um, I don't feel has been the, in the highest good for you, okay, this could also be like a belief that you have, like a negative belief that you have about yourself or your life, but there's some aspect that's been like sucking your energy, pulling you down, making you feel powerless, okay, in 2023, you're seeing the truth. Your mind is yours. There's no influence that's impacting your choices, your feelings, okay? You feel very in control of yourself and people or situations that were able to emotionally manipulate you in the past, they will not have that power in 2023, okay? I feel like this is a reclaiming of power for cancers as well. But yeah, your third eye is wide open, very important that you follow through on visions you have, intuition, um, inspirations around different things, okay? Because you're seeing, you got spiritual vision in 2023, Cancer. All right, let's get in and look at a blessing that's coming to you guys. You're going to get multiple blessings, but this is a blessing that Spirit would like to talk about. So what blessing is coming in for Cancer? Wow. wow, look at this. A blessing to shield and safeguard you. Oh my goodness. Yeah, Cancer, you've been dealing with some BS, okay? And I feel it and like the energy, like I feel like this is more energetic, emotional, or mental, okay? Where you are feeling in darkness, you're feeling in confusion. But what you don't realize is that like there's these external factors and forces. Also, being a Cancer, you're very empathic. You naturally absorb the emotions and energies of others, okay? And that can also create a lot of confusion. But in 2023, it's like you have this energetic bubble around you, which is spiritual protection, okay? And any sort of influence that's trying to take control of your mind or steer your emotions in any particular direction, it will have no impact on you, all right? It doesn't matter history, attachment, connection, what you used to believe, it doesn't matter. Like you're just gonna see things for what they are and you're gonna be able to act accordingly upon that, okay? Um, and I feel like this is a prosperous year for cancers where negative i just keep getting like these negative energies okay look at you got the the crows here and you see like they're messing with that that shadow energy 
there's been some sort of soul work you've been doing, dealing with a lot of like shadow energies, shadowy uh, people, you know, just things that have created a lot of confusion. And in 2023, it's like you're evolving beyond all of that and you are being protected by the most high and what used to trigger you, impact you. It's not going to have an effect anymore. And, you know, anybody tries to come against you unlawfully in a bad way, they're going to, it's going to blow up in their face. Okay, because whether you believe you are a spiritually based person or not, Cancer, in 2023, you are protected by the spirit realm. You've done a lot of spiritual growth and you have spirit vision in 2023. Those of you that um, like do cards, your mediums, any sort of like reading that you give, those of you who um, do that, you're just going to be spot on. Like it's so much so that some people that you're reading for might be like angry at you at times because of what you're saying. Because you're, you're, you're um, activating a block within them that they need to face to overcome. And you're just going to see all of that. And so if you encounter that and they're like getting angry, frustrated with you. Don't even, don't even feel a thing about it, okay? Because what's going to happen is in like days or weeks, maybe even months for some, they're going to come back to you and be like, you were absolutely right, Cancer, okay? Even those of you that don't do cards and stuff, you're seeing the truth about a friend's situation. Somebody in your family, you're just going to call it out for what it is and it might ruffle some feathers, but I do see people coming back to you being like, you know what, Cancer, you were spot on. 100% about that. I should have listened to you. I'm sorry. All right. January through March. Relaxation. Peaceful pursuits. Happy times. We love that energy for January through March. So as you enter the new year, you're just naturally feeling at peace. Okay. And also, Cancer... There's something really positive and exciting happening for you January through March, okay? Because, like, I, I feel this, um, like, unexpected journey, uh, unexpected change of plans, unexpected person coming into your life for some of you, okay? There's some sort of unexpected positive that shows up January through March, and it, it is leading to much more happy times okay it's not just january through march you're, you're experiencing this no it's going to build over the year peaceful pursuits what you're reaching for it's like your relationships your day-to-day -day, everything is starting to feel much more in alignment to you april may and june we have archangel raziel wisdom inspiration akashic records Ooh, april may and june this is about a soulmate, Cancer, whether this is a friend, family member, mentor, romantic person, there's a soulmate that is very, very significant for you guys in April, May, and June, okay, and I know that with the Akashic Records, and you and this soulmate are going to be able to really complete a karmic lesson Okay, that you've been working on, that they've been working on, and the universe brings you together for the finale, the total completion of this. And through that process, your pain, your sadness, your experiences transform into wisdom and strength. You are overcoming something that has been heavy for you, okay? Any sort of karmic lesson, ugh, you know, you all know, and you're you're completing it, which means when that's done, life feels different. There's a shifting, okay? So January, February, and March are already ushering in all this good energy and some unexpected blessing manifestation. And then April, May, and June, a completion of a karmic lesson that you've been working on 
which only further empowers you and activates you and makes you feel excited and light and free. Okay, Arc okay, we have another and I can't pronounce that. I'm so sorry. Like I have an idea, but I don't want to say it wrong. Hope, optimism, and new beginnings. Oh my gosh. So you've got and remember, we already saw that you're being spiritually protected, but now you got the Archangel showing up in your reading, okay? Hope, optimism, new beginnings. Um, July, August, September. Oh, Cancer, there's some new door opening for you, okay? And this could be um, a living situation, huge improvement, a new job, a new relationship coming in, all right? It's different for all of you, but whatever this newness is, you are happy for it. You welcome it in. It it gives you optimism and hope and faith, okay? It's like, this is what I need right now. How perfectly timed is this, okay? And remember, we're completing a karmic lesson for good, which would make sense that there's a, a new path that opens up for you, right? Because you, you've completed the old. All right, and now October, November, December, mindfulness, peaceful presence, quiet mind. You've got peaceful pursuits starting the year and peaceful presence wrapping up the year. That tells you, Cancer, that this year of 2023 is going to be a year of more positivity, of flow, of alignment, of happiness, of harmony, of peace in your life. And you are very protected by the spirit realm. And interesting, this is the card on the bottom, Past Life Guides karmic lessons, uh, present assistance. See, you are completing some sort of karmic lesson with a soulmate. And through that completion, you are freed. All right. And the way that you each experience that freedom, it's going to be a little different. Let's pull some tarot and go deeper into these messages, Cancer. Yeah, and you know, I think I kind of got a similar message for Pisces. I haven't done Scorpio yet. Scorpio is going to be the last um, reading I do. But it's like for the water signs. I don't know what's going on in 2023. If there's like grand uh, water trines happening. I don't know. But it's just looking very spiritual. Very positive. Very um, like walking between two worlds, the physical realm as well as the spiritual realm and being in balance, being in harmony, bringing a lot of peace and healing to others as you also are receiving that, okay? And that's here in this reading. Those of you that do spiritually based work or healing work of any kind, the archangels are working with you this year. You're going to be doing some deep, deep healings. And some of you, that comes through giving readings, okay? Some of you, that comes through Reiki. Some of you, um, you know, you could be a counselor, a therapist, a nurse, a doctor, a personal trainer, a life coach. Some of you, and maybe you are the healer of like objects, like cars, electronics. Healing can happen in so many ways. But I just see your power really expanded in that area. Like spiritually, anything that you're doing has like this extra boost to it, this extra magic to it. You know, and this is really bizarre, but this is, I feel like a message for like one cancer that's going to tune into this. Some of you are like, um, like you do some work around like hauntings, um, things like that. And this year, like, I don't know if it's like, you're going to go into like a more heavy situation or whatever. Any of you that deal with hauntings or trying to exercise negative energy, negative spirits out of spaces, call upon the archangels every single time because they will protect you from anything and everything, okay? All right, yeah, that was just kind of a... Now I feel like I need to shuffle the cards again. Sorry, that's just something that came through for like one cancer out there.
call upon the archangels. They will always protect you. Always, always, always. And you know what? Straight up cancer and all my years of reading, I had a message like that has never come through, not for cancers or any other sign. So I know that is some cancer that's watching this. Like, maybe you don't normally work with the archangels this year. It's like they're calling upon you to really call them into your life because they're going to help you with your work. All right. So we have the seven of pentacles and I'm just going to get these all laid down. Okay. And then we'll go through each one. Right, you guys got two aces coming through for this year and I just have to tell you whenever the ace of swords shows up for me in a reading that is always an energy of Archangel Michael coming in especially since we already see this Archangel energy yeah see he is telling you cancer um, all of you no matter what it is that you do for work or whatever Archangel Michael is with cancers in 2023 and is saying, you know what, call on me in any situation. I will help open you. I will help lead you to your victory. Okay. Anything that you need, protection, truth, clarity, uh, energetic cutting and clearing. Archangel Michael is your angel for 2023. Call upon him at any and every single time that you feel a little off and he will come in and he will help you all the archangels all right um this in this deck this is the first time i've ever seen that particular archangel so i really don't know about that one um do some research okay and then you also have archangel raziel coming in as well but i don't feel like these are the only three that are trying to work with you and each archangel has it has a different um mission a, a different set of energies and skills to help you with different things in your life and all through 2023 they're working with you and the more that you open to them and talk to them and greet them on the daily the more you will feel that presence the more you call them into your life okay so just know that now with this third eye vision we have the seven of pentacles and the three of swords coming out with vision and heartache so yeah there are different energies that you've been dealing with that I feel cloud your vision okay um, make you think less of yourself or what you're able to do what you offer what you bring to the table like there's something about an energy that has been said to you or done to you or a belief deep inside of you and it's brought a lot of heartache to you because it's like you believe this thing for good reason, all right? It's not like you just pulled it out of the air and said, oh, okay, I'm gonna start feeling bad. No, that is not what happened. Like, there's a number of things that played out in your life, okay, that created um, some beliefs about yourself, but also the actions and the words of some others have really caused you some heartache. You don't understand why. And with this third eye vision, I'm telling you, your mind is going to become very clear and nobody's going to be able to say anything to emotionally manipulate you in 2023, all right? Your vision is now crystal clear, so you see any sort of falsity that's trying to be offered to you and you're able to reject it and stand strong against it, okay? Pentacles is earth, um, swords is air energy, so you are strong against anything that's trying to upset you or come against you and especially with the archangels showing up i mean anybody that has the archangels on their side they've got no worries okay they've got no worries anybody trying to come up against somebody with the archangels on their side they should be worried all right so january through march look at that we've got the page of cups with the world friendship angel of success remember there's Something unexpected showing up for you in January, Mar February, or March, okay? Um, and this is like going to create a new emotion inside of you. But also with this world showing up, 
yeah, that is just further confirmation to me that this really heavy stuff you've been dealing with, like you, you're evolving beyond it to where it's not an issue anymore. Okay, um, you feel very excited about 2023 as you move through January, February, and March just because of how you're starting to feel, the way you're seeing things, okay? And also, uh, Cancer, I feel January through March, there's a lot of truth that's going to be given to you. You're going to have a lot of heart-to-heart -heart conversations with people. You're really going to know where you stand in people's lives, where I feel in the past it may have been a little bit shaky, okay? But just at the start of the year, it's like you're going to have these conversations and you're going to realize who's on Team Cancer and who's not, all right? And yeah, like Spirit's like, there's an unexpected surprise, all right? So April, May, and June, completing this karmic lesson. Look at that. You got the King of Swords with the Four of Swords. So this soulmate that you're working this lesson out with is coming through as an air energy, all right? That could indicate they're an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or it could just indicate that, that they uh, navigate the world more through an air energy, okay? This is somebody who um, isn't super emotional, like they're more head over heart type of in individual, all right, but do you see that? The Four of Swords with the healing. So through the completion of this karmic lesson, deep, deep healing is coming to Cancer. And it could also be like this relationship itself, if this is somebody who's been around, like you and this person have a deep healing because you finally have overcome this, okay? Whereas others of you, this soulmate helping you complete this karmic lesson, maybe somebody who's just passing through your life, um, April, May, June, all right, um, could be somebody new that you meet that, you know, helps you complete this and then you guys are really good moving forward for the rest of the year. And for some of you, this is already somebody in your life, okay, and you're, you guys together are completing this karmic lesson, which brings great, great healing to you, Cancer, in the ways that you need it, all right, and now <clears throat> hope, optimism, and new beginnings. We have five of swords with three of cups. So what this tells me is anything that's falling away, there's a celebration. Anything that's leaving your life, any sort of change that you're having, it's welcomed by you. All right, there's going to be a lot of shifting of energies July, August, and September in your life. But you welcome all of that because it's like through any loss, you're celebrating and so a loss could mean like a really bad job that you can finally transition out of, okay? Or you're doing some internship work so you can go to the next level and finally you're done with that, you know, um, because we're looking at all the good. So it's like whatever is leaving your life these months, there's great celebration for it, okay? Because through that closing door, a new door opens, a new beginning, a new path, and you're happy for it. You're celebrating for it. October, November, December. Look at that. You got the Six of Wands with the Ace of Pentacles. <coughs> so that right there is a message to you that you will have a lot of success by year's end. This could uh, represent promotions. Um, Really having a lot of success for those of you who are on social media platforms, okay? A recognition of love and appreciation towards cancers by those in your life, but also there's this abundance coming in. And what this abundance is for each cancer is different. Some of you are wanting more financial abundance. Some of you are wanting more emotional abundance. Some of you are wanting um, more abundance in job and learning. It's different for all of you, okay? But... October, November, and December, that abundance is coming in, and you feel like your prayers have been heard, have been answered, and you do feel by the end of the year that the archangels have been with you and have had your back. I'm telling you, anything that you're going through where you start getting a little nervous and a little afraid, call upon Archangel Michael, and he will come in, because a blessing to safeguard you, that's where he showed up. All right, I'm here no matter what. I've got you. And because of that, 
you know, there's a lot of unexpected good stuff that is coming in. But also what I see is um, throughout 2023, you're going to see all the what ifs, right? Because we only know our path that we're on and the choices we made and, and what that created for us, right? We don't know, well, what if we would have done this instead or we would have chose this path or chose this person? Like, we don't know. But for you guys, you're going to see all those what ifs and you're going to realize, damn, I'm not happy with everything that unfolded for me, but I will take that over all those other things like I never knew. And also what I'm seeing is the archangels are going to show you the different times that they did protect you. All right, because that's another thing. We don't know all of the uh, negative that could have played out in our life without our divine protection. We, we're not aware of that either, right? We just know what we've experienced. And so Archangel Michael is like, let me take you on a journey, Cancer. Let me show you everything that you've been protected from. And some things you were so angry about and so upset about, but let me show you why that had to happen. It was actually protection to you in the long run. Um, certain things were not in your highest good and you, you're going to get all of that insight, okay? Which makes sense because of the spiritual energy that you guys are working with in 2023. This is a good year for you. You're going to be really, even though I know there are some things that happened prior to 2023 that you're not exactly happy about and you've always wondered about, you're going to understand in 2023 why and the giving getting the why is so healing and freeing oh my goodness look at what flipped it's a time for love connection happiness new energies new paths for cancer that's the third ace that flipped for you guys. Okay. Oh, you are coming out of nine of swords. The first three months, like the world, the completion, getting the answers, the solutions you need. I love that. All right. It's seven of wands. Um, so seven of wands is like having the higher ground, right? And to me, this is a representation like that after this karmic lesson is totally finished and completed again, like things that used to get to you that used to trigger you, they have no impact on you anymore. Cancer. Oh, look at this. We got the moon. You guys are ruled by the moon. Okay. However, in the tarot deck, um, the moon is the representation of Pisces. So again, it goes back to that water energy where I feel all the water signs are just getting a big boost uh, spiritually with their intuition, their spiritual gifts, um, their creativity, their talents, their abilities. All right, Cancer, you guys are feeling that just as much as Pisces. And I feel there's like a, a Cancer Pisces connection for 2023. And that doesn't have to mean like, a, a Pisces person for cancer. I just feel like Pisces and cancer, your guys's journeys in 2023 are very, very similar um, in what you're experiencing. Okay. And, you know, uh, you may find that you are attracting water signs in 2023 and that the water signs get you and understand you in ways that nobody else does. But also with this moon energy, new beginnings, um, manifestation. This new beginning is something that you have created for yourself. And look at that. We've got the Harrow Fence showing up for October, November, December. Yes, just more confirmation of how spiritually protected Cancer is. But also Cancer, uh, October, November, December, Harrow Fence, with the Ace of Pentacles, Six of Wands, some of you may be um, getting married or getting engaged those last three months of the year. Um, also, I do see like um, 
those of you getting like year-end reviews very very positive reviews um and like somebody really high up in your company is quite impressed with you you're getting the recognition you deserve like the last three months of the year it could bring a raise or promotion okay but just know all year long the archangels are on your side call upon them to strengthen you empower you heal you help you understand help you overcome some fear just like whatever it is they will speak to you i promise in so many ways directly signs synchronicity symbolism random conversations you have with other people Look at this, the angel of sharing. In my temple of silence, all is added to me as I commune with my soul. Sharing is a sacred moment. To give and to receive becomes the most intimate communication between two or more beings. Whoever communes participates in the one spirit of life. And that is what you are experiencing all year long. Like that's such a beautiful closing message after everything else we've already picked up in this reading cancer oh, look at what's on the bottom the angel of birth yeah new three aces came out it's time for the new out with the old and with the new completing some karmic energies which just open you up and make life feel so much better all right and archangel michael is going to bring some unexpected into your world but in a positive way like you're going to believe in miracles by the end of the year. All right. So those are your messages, Cancer. I am sending you guys lots of love and light. Take care.